Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, Chef Vanessa Marks is not just an award-winning chef with a series of accolades and successful restaurants under her belt, but she is also fully committed and passionate about creating fresh food using seasonal, sustainable, and locally sourced ingredients. And with this philosophy in mind, she places the same emphasis on quality ingredients and nutrition when it comes to what she feeds her beautiful pug, Ellie. Take a look at this. Hi, I'm Vanessa, and this is my little bulldog, Ellie. I'm a South African chef, and I pride myself in finding the freshest, most sustainably sourced local produce as possible. It's great to know that I can translate these principles into something I can feed to my pets as well. There's nothing funny added to the food at all, and Petleys prides itself on only adding the good stuff. It's fantastic that Petleys offers a variety of proteins, including fish. Carefully selected ingredients ensure that your pets get the natural nutrition they need without any of the extra stuff they don't. Petleys is high in protein, low in carbohydrates, and is especially formulated for your cat or dog to allow for maximum nutrition for maximum health. We all want our families to eat the best and most nutritional meal they can, and the same should go for our pets. That's why I choose Petleys. Petleys. Meaty meals for all. Okay, you just have the cutest dog in the world. Isn't She's it? beautiful. <laughs> Isn't she? <laughs> Why is it really important for you to use ethically, uh, you know, sourced products when you're well, cooking? Okay, so when we're cooking for ourselves, you know, we want to know what's in our food. Where does it come from? Has it got antibiotics added yeah. to it? You know, all those sort of things. Um, and, you know, it sounds so silly, just one person on their own making these choices. But when we all make the right choices, it really impacts our environment um, yeah. at the end of the day. So I think it sort of stemmed for me, um, you know, having a love for animals and the environment and that sort of thing. And that's sort of the take that I have as a chef, you know. It's, exactly. It sort of resonates there. Yeah, well, I think it's really important for your pets to eat just as good as you are. I like it when my dogs eat just as well as I do. I've just got to stop dating them. <laughs> okay, so what are we going to be making today? Um, okay, so today we're making a Thai coconut um, hake dish. Yes. Which is really quick and easy to make. Fabulous. I like quick and easy in a kitchen. Yeah, so okay. we all usually are running short on time, and this is one that you can just whip up. Wonderful. All right. Teach me. Okay. So in the bottom of our pot over here, we've got some uh, little baby pak choy, which I've put the stems underneath the, the fish. Oh, I put it at the bottom so that the stems cook um, a little bit softer than the actual leaves. So the leaves sort of sticking out the top. Then I've just taken a whole piece of hake and yeah. laid it over the top. So you don't Great. have to be fussing with anything too much. And um, we've got some ginger. Yeah. Um, I like to, my hands are clean and I like to just cook with my hands. There are two utensils. Great. No, I'm, I'm the same. I like eating with my hands as well. I figured that every time you eat with your hands, it actually tastes better. I've got a couple of cloves of garlic here that have already been roasted. You don't have to roast them. I just find that they've got a bit of a softer flavour. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some mange too here with sugar snap peas, whatever sort of is available in the, um, in the fridge or in your grocer. And you're just going to scatter those in. This is such a nice, clean you dish. You can cut them smaller or leave them bigger or whatever you, um, whatever you fancy, you know? Um, and then you can mix it up as well with different baby veg and that sort of things. I like uh, using the baby veg, they're quite visually appealing. Um, and they cook quite quickly as yes. well. And so I've got some little baby corns there. Just going to add those on top. Oh, I'm going to be such a fan of this dish. Already I love all the ingredients that you've used. And it's already so fragrant without you even turning yeah, on the heat. Yeah, you can smell it already. Yeah. Um, I, I love veggies. I mean, I, you can do this as a veggie version as well if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, but I like my veggies quite crunchy as well. So this way, the way that you're layering it, your veg stays quite nice and crunchy sure. on top as well. Nice and fresh and green. Even if you weren't doing this as a curry, you could just steam all of this and it would be so nice. As Pretty much. Say. So what <laughs> happens is we're going to add some, um, some coconut milk as well. And you can use, thanks, you can use a light uh, coconut milk if you want something with a little bit less um, fat content. Or you can uh, double up to coconut cream if you want something a little yeah. bit richer. But basically what will happen now is the coconut milk in the bottom will steam the veggies and everything on top. So you are actually steaming some of it. Mm -hmm. um, and then the heftiest sort of pieces at the bottom um, will cook in the coconut milk. Wonderful. I've got a bit of fish sauce, because yes. we are doing a Thai um, number. And there's some chili in there as well. Exactly. So what you're going to do is you're going to pop the lid back on. Yeah. You're going to turn it on. 
leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes. You want your fish to be not overcooked and dry, just nice and firm. And voila. Ta -dun, ta -dun. Here's one I made earlier. Oh, amazing. So your hake is baked, your veggies are steamed on the, on the top. A little bit of chili and then I like to add um, at the end rather some spring onion um, so and chop some of that up and you can if you want to add some of the stems while it's cooking they'll go a bit softer if you want to add some of the tops sort of as more of a garnish you can do yeah. that as well I really like a recipe that you can make your own you don't have to follow it to the tea. I didn't know the whole of the spring onion was usable. Yeah, absolutely. That's so great. Yeah, mm. other than if it's sort of gone a bit funny on top, but otherwise I, I like to use the whole thing. And some fresh coriander. Because yeah. what's a bit of Thai without coriander? Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, well, I'm going to come to you and you're going to have to make this for me because I think <laughs> see this is going to be absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. It's and I'd love to come and visit your dog. Yeah, please do. <laughs> She's, She's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you very much. Now, if you have an adorable pup at home, it is also so, so, so important that you feed them with the same quality and same love as you would yourself. And that's why Pet Lease ensures that your beloved pets can enjoy a tasty meal with up to 40% real meaty goodness and as a special treat, Petleys are giving you the chance to win an incredible hamper for your beloved pet, which includes everything from a dog collar to a lead to an adorable dog uh, little teepee and 16 tins of delicious Petleys dog food. To win, head over to our, the Afternoon Express Facebook page and tell us which Petleys meaty meal is your dog's favourite. The competition closes on the 29th of September and the terms and conditions can be found on Afternoon Express dot com. Thank you so much and thank you. So, yeah, thank you.